At the Commonwealth Games in Scotland, the New Zealand cyclists have sprinted quickly onto the medal table. But it wasn't just about medals today. There was a bit of a rush to get a selfie with the Queen too. Michelle Pickles is live at the Games venue with the details. Michelle. Well, a selfie with the Queen might be the next best thing to a medal, Hillary, but I don't think the Kiwi trio who won gold would be willing to swap. And it wasn't even a photo finish, as David DeSoma reports. There have been huge expectations put on the track cyclists these games, and on day one they delivered in emphatic fashion. Ethan Mitchell, Eddie Dawkins and Sam Webster claiming their first Commonwealth golds in the team sprint. Good, we worked very hard and um, it's, it's paid off here in Glasgow. For us our main goal was gold and uh, to come off on top it's yeah, really, really special. Such was their dominance, they were in record breaking form. In the final, they were always ahead of England. It was a powerhouse performance. Now they've released the anchor man, Edward Dawkins, and Dawkins is storming around the track here. And Keanu Morty is on the run for England. It's going to be New Zealand that are going to take the goal. New Zealand take the gold medal here for the team sprint. 43.181, a new Commonwealth Games event record. And that was despite a false start when England had a mechanical problem. It was uh, something completely out of our hands, but we were able to have a mental reset and get back to that sort of optimal state for us to go out and actually ride faster in the final than what we qualified in. They again showed they are at the top of their game after they were crowned world champions in Colombia in February. We knew they were capable of it, every bit, and um, but there's no certainty, so you just you're not certain until you're home, and yeah. Very, very happy. It's also a race that we've seen really crucial as a halfway point to Rio and we want to stamp out that we're the country that's putting in the hard yards and we want to carry the world number one ranking right the way through to Rio. With three Kiwis, including Webster and Dawkins, having already qualified in the individual sprints, more medals could be just hours away. After this week's prediction that the track team would get a multitude of medals, it's a case of so far, so good. David DeSoma, Glasgow, 3 News.